Hello again. So if you're watching this, um, you should have a thesis statement completed. You should have a topic sentence for each of the ideas that you want to address through your thesis statement. You should have uh, supports for each of those ideas. And so this is a short video um, that's going to have a decent amount of work that's involved in pulling the rest of your paragraphs together. And so that this is the point where you begin to build uh, around the bones of your essay, right? To put meat around the bones, I don't know if that's a good um, metaphor, but uh, we're going to go with it. So I'm going to show you, share my screen. Okay. All right, so we've already gone through a lot of this. Let's see. We're going to go into building the body or writing the body paragraphs. And so when we take a look at um, what's involved with writing the body paragraphs, we already have a lot of this work done. Um, we already have your topic sentence, we are or your point, right? The point of the paragraph. You've already um, identified a support. And we already kind of, you've done a lot of work with your ETA sheets in talking about supports, potential supports, talking about quotes. And so there's not tons left to do, but it's important that uh, we fully build each of these paragraphs. And so you should have your point, your, your topic sentence. You should have an introduction to a support, right? We should understand why we need to understand, know this topic sentence. You should have an introduction to a support. You should have your support, right? So your evidence. You should explain what it is that that evidence is, but more importantly, why that evidence is important for your overarching argument. So you're not, when you're talking about evidence, you're not just saying this quote means, and I know for those of you that grew up in uh, New York State Regents uh, prep mode, a lot of times instructors would tell you to just explain what the quote means, right? And, and it turns into kind of like a translation. And that's not what we want here. What we want is we want to tie it back to the overarching ideas in your paper. And then by the end, you want to link it back to, directly back to the main idea or to the next idea you're about to share. And so it makes those paragraphs feel cohesive. But a couple things to remember, that each paragraph that you write is a representation of one idea. And so if you feel like you begin talking about a second idea in your explanation, that's a good, good hint that you should probably go and explore um, building another paragraph. Those are things we do in revision, um, but for now, Stick to the peel method for each of these. And so I'm going to show you, I'll stop sharing this. And I am going to go back into our sandbox. Okay. So um, we're looking at our sandbox and really what ended up happening, right, is for each of these, you already have your topic sentence, right? So this is point. After the point, you're going to have your evidence. And really, you're going to introduce evidence. Then you're going to have your evidence. Then you're going to have your explanation. Then you're going to link back to your thesis. And by the way, you might have multiple quotes that you want to use. You might have a lot of evidence for a specific idea. Right. And so 
if we're looking at these three, that means that for every single one of these, oops, for every single one of these topics that I've identified, and here's some evidence that I have here, but I'm just going to go like this. For every one of these topics I've identified, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do that exact same thing. Right, I'm going to introduce my evidence. I'm going to cite my evidence. I'm going to explain why that evidence is important to my overarching thesis, and then link back to the thesis or to my next idea. And so, I mean, even look, I've only built one of my paragraphs and my thesis, and I framed out what the rest of this looks like. And by the way, this is really all you need to do for that um, for that outline that you completed. Um, but yeah, so th this is really it. And so I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to leave this to you. And really what I hope this is showing you is that if you did the ETA sheets, this is done, this is done for all of these. You did this at the beginning for all of these. Really all we're doing is we're making sure that these are all on track. I also want to point out um, at this point, and maybe this is a little late for me to say this, but if you haven't done the ETA sheets, doing those first and making sure you understand the readings that we did last week first, is are, it's, that's going to be really good advice. Um, that's going to be really helpful to um, moving forward in your paper. It's going to take you less time to go back and do that, and you'll get credit for having done that work. So um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out.